here I am back at my uh, dump site for my first video. Um, again, I'm doing this on a broken foot, which is stupid. Very stupid, but hey, I gotta do it. Um, I'm gonna hit this spot as hard as I could until my foot starts hurting, so um, stay tuned. I'll let you know if I find anything good. Alright, first bottle coming out of here. Looks nice. Hopefully, she is whole. And my luck, she's probably broken. It's gonna be real easy with her. Mm. She's stuck in there. Pretty good, I mean. Oh, she's beautiful. Nice. Old top. Crude. Oh, yeah. Nice little line or something. Uh, I don't see any embossing on it. But... She's beautiful. It's a nice little bottle there. Maybe, yeah, it feels like a wine. Maybe. <laughs> Not too sure. Turn it back on find anything else. Alright. Uh, sitting here digging. Got some came out of the hole and I really hope it is what it is. Cause um a couple seconds ago dug dug this nasty little leather glove. And I don't know if you remember my first video what I told you, uh sometimes the buttons are still on it, so let's go ahead and get this here. Uh, Nothing. It's a button. Can't read too much. In the back, there is some lettering, but. Huh. I'll take it home. I mean, there's nothing on the front, so. Ah, thought it'd be an evil button or something. That'd have been cool, but, uh. Digging a lot of bone. I think I'm gonna keep this one because that's pretty neat. Cool display piece piece of bone but digging a lot of bone a lot of pottery so uh, not in a bad spot not at all I'm in a nice crunchy layer here if you can hear that and a little bit of rust and uh real quick on the tool I'm using now oh, there's some bone there Every time I hit bone, for some reason, I hit something, <laughs> something else right underneath it. But um, real quick on the tool I'm using, the tools that I usually use are a three-pronged rake, like uh, this cheap thing here. Oh, makes me so mad. These things are so cheap. But uh, so is this. Bought it for like two bucks, and uh, it broke. The two other pieces broke off right here on the other ends but actually this is not working out too bad for me here it's being it's moving a lot of dirt for me and it's being very careful you know I, I nipped that green bottle earlier I don't see a mark on it but it's a good thing but uh yeah Um, 
I'm gonna continue digging here. Definitely for a very long time, <laughs> this spot. Total of probably two and a half hours. Last time and this time combined, two and a half hours. It's not bad at all. So, uh, all right, I'll get back at you if you find anything else. All right, cool. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know if you can see it right there. I believe, uh, the shank's broken, but hey, I believe this is an eagle co button. And it sure is, boys. Nice. Be nice if there's a D on it, huh? Oh. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, that's a weird one on the back here. Oh, sweet people. This is nice. I got a good dump here. Nice eagle coat button here. That's sweet. I don't know if you can kind of see the eagle's head there. Nice. Some writing on the back. Shank's broken, but <laughs> tell you what, I don't care. Oh, nice. What's this? Man, people, this is good here. <laughs> cool, cool. Definitely turn it back on if I find anything. And if I don't, bring you home, show you the finds. Cleaned up. Sweet. Alright. Definitely calling it a day. My foot is killing me, but uh, nice. There's all the junk that I found. Nice pottery right there. Just goes to show you the kind of place I'm in. Right. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm telling you, this place is. It's something else. There's my little hole. Not even close to being dug out. I mean, been here a total three, three and a half hours here. Pulled a nice eagle coat button. That's pretty legit. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to make my way out of here. So, uh, sweet. I'll see you when uh, we get home. Clean up the finds. Video of my finds. Uh, there's that eagle coat button. I didn't really. Uh, clean it up too good. I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning on it. Um, guess an Indian Wars because it fits the base. Timeline of the base. It has like Roarsteam, Standard and Company, Philadelphia. So go ahead and research it, but I'm almost positive it's 1870s, 1880s. But, but I'm sorry, I didn't focus it. And uh, here's the beautiful I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I believe that's an applied top, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, it's gorgeous. I love it. Beautiful color. Um, just a beautiful bottle. I still got to clean it, I know. Did a half-assed job on cleaning it, but... Um, also, something I didn't show you guys when I was out there. I found this piece here. Now, I know you're looking at it and it's so cool, broken bottle bottom. But if you look at it, it's blue, okay? And with that X right here in the middle, I don't know if you can see that. Right here in the middle. Now, what I'm suspecting that could be, and I don't know, just a long shot could be a US hospital department bottle now I also know there was a hospital on top of that hill so there very well could be hospital departments in there that'd be a really sweet find if I could find that so all right 
stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to head back to that spot. And uh, still going to have a broken foot, so we'll probably do another hour, two hours there. So, all right, thanks for watching.